Rudy Giuliani is apparently a very sick man. And I don't mean sick in the head. I mean like physically, internally sick, right? He's got some problems, allegedly. And that of course is coming from uh, John Katsimatidis, who is a former mayoral candidate, radio host, and supermarket magnate, who recently in an interview with New York city mayor, Eric Adams defended Rudy Giuliani's claims of being assaulted in the shop, right? You know, we've all seen the video. The guy walks up, pats him on the back, calls him a scumbag. You know, they have a brief verbal exchange and then life goes on. That individual of course was arrested, spent close to 24 hours in jail, hit with some pretty serious charges. Those charges were then reduced, but they still exist. But this radio host in talking with Eric Adams, again, uh, uh, Katsi Matitas defended Rudy Giuliani by saying that he was in poor health when it happened, was struggling to breathe before it even happened. Right. Cause he's just in such bad health. And so the day after the event, he had to go in and get heart stints put in. That's how sick he was. So that's why even the light tap on the bat uh, back made such a huge difference because Giuliani was just so feeble and fragile. He shouldn't be out there. You know, the lightest tap could have killed him as Giuliani himself put it felt like a boulder hitting my back. The next day I, I was scheduled to get some heart stints put in so that I could breathe. Katsi Matitas says, you know what? I'm not buying it. Sorry, but I'm not. See Rudy Giuliani in the days following this alleged attack repeatedly was out there in the media doing interviews, talking about how horrendous it was. He was on his own podcast podcast talking about how bad it was, but not once in all of his whining did Rudy Giuliani bring up. I also was in very poor health. I just had heart stints, not a single time. And you would think a man that was already exaggerating everything that happened would have brought up his health, you know, that, that bolsters his case to make it seem like, oh crap, if you really were this totally feeble old man, then yeah, maybe it was a little more serious than the video made it look, but Giuliani didn't say it. And so I'm on the record right now until I see Giuliani's medical records. I don't believe it happened. I don't believe he had the heart stents. Another reason I don't believe the heart stent story is because again, it allegedly happened the day after the attack. So what was Giuliani doing the day after the attack? He was all over the media. He was doing a bunch of interviews. He wasn't sitting in a hospital bed. He was on TV. Now my father has had many heart stents over the last 20 years. And every time he has it, you know, it's, he's, he's in the hospital for the full day. Pretty much. He typically goes in about four or 5 AM. They eventually get to him. They keep him there for hours and hours and hours. Sometimes they keep him overnight, you know, just to make sure that there's no problems with the stent. And even the times when he has been allowed to go home the same day, I can promise you, even when this first started and he was in much better health and much younger than Giuliani ever was, well, not younger than he ever was, but better health than Giuliani ever was. Um, he was in no condition whatsoever to give an interview. So I'm sorry, but based on personal experience and based on what we saw from Giuliani all over the media the next day, the story of him having heart stents put in after this happened, it doesn't add up. It simply doesn't add up. So show us the medical records or Katsi Matitas go out there and admit that you made this up because otherwise I'm not going to believe it for a second till I see those hospital records. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.